Do you know what's in your freezer? Things get lost in the cold abyss. I am just as guilty. So here's how I would like my four freezers to look. My freezer here in the kitchen, I would like to use for fruits, yogurt, some cheeses, vegetables, and quick, easy go-to things to prepare our dinners. If you have a chest freezer or a freezer like this, if you keep the things that really need to be frozen, like really good, like your proteins, your hams, your meats, chickens, put them at the bottom of your freezer and up top have things like veggies and cheeses and some dairy. All right, here's a peek of what's going on in here. So we've got, like I said, fruit. Have you ever had the true fruit? Oh my gosh, they're delicious. Easy dinner things like this is uh, mandarin orange chicken from Trader Joe's. Okay, peaches, here's some leftover cheese I didn't want thrown out. Ooh, ice cream. That's a rarity in my home, but there's the chicken pot pie in here. Interesting. Um, some candy. Here I have some ground beef that I took out from the big freezer here for meals. Um, and I have some pork and some ravioli. Uh, a waffle. A waffle. Yeah. And some sausage. That needs to go in a different freezer. Veggies. Some tater tots. Yeah. So... Oh, and yeast. I freeze my yeast. So, this needs some TLC and organization for sure. Okay, we're in my pantry, and in my pantry I have a little freezer. We actually got this at Sam's Club. It's a uh, Thompson. When we bought this freezer, the whole purpose was for our freezer meals. But things started trickling in when I needed the room. Alright, so we had some pigs that we raised, and... This is part of the pork of that. I have some frozen veggies, some cinnamon rolls, English muffins, Girl Scout cookies. Yeah, you gotta put your Thin Mints in there for sure. Um, and then I have some sausage for my gravy and veggies, tater tots, candy, um, more waffles. In here I have some pizza rolls for the kids, some chicken patties that they absolutely love. More pork is behind there. Some chicken, fish sticks. The last, well, some freezer meals right here. And so we got a couple of freezer meals, some leftovers in here. And down here I have some chicken. Okay, for the pantry freezer I am thawing it out because there was a lot of ice buildup. And um, so I'm gonna get all the ice out. I have a towel down here, a bowl that it's going into. And then I'm going to dry it out really, really good, shut the door, and then um, put everything. I made room in the other freezers, I suppose, things in there. And, um, and then this is ready to go for all the freezer meals and like broths and stuff. So we're in my food storage room and we have a second refrigerator. This holds the bulk of our grocery shopping and meal planning, but the freezer here is pretty random. I would like to create a better system for it, a better usage for it, so let me share with you what I got going on in this bad boy. A lot of dysfunction is what it is. <laughs> in the door I have squash, some pesto from Costco. I split them up into three ounces each. I have some sausage, some bacon, leftover Christmas candy. Oh, pineapple. I knew it's pineapple. See, you have got a label. Okay, so in here I keep cranberries. Oh yes, you could freeze your cranberries. I love cranberry salsa and it does well. I realized that this holiday season, so now I'm gonna be freezing my cranberries all the time. I have butter, chicken, that's a pork loin, a ham, like ham hock I think that is from our pig. Some more pork here from our pig, more pork here, chicken, um, some keto crusts, I don't know, those are Derek's, a pork loin that I just, not a pork loin, a pork roast that I just bought um, at a at the grocery store they had buy one get one, so I did that, a froze one. Uh, I have some vegetables, sausage, some banana peppers, salmon, uh, hamburger patties, some more of our pig. So in here, I want to make it seasonal or easy things for the kids to grab from the freezer, like their meals, like there's hot dogs in here, ha hamburger patties. Um, I do have a lot more butter like this in this refrigerator 
and I need a home for it. I don't think it's gonna fit in this big guy right here, which I'm gonna share with you next. So I'm trying to figure out how to house this for all the other odd things and make it accessible to the kids. So this is going to take a hot minute to figure this one out. This is the big guy and it houses a lot. We go in on half of a cow and this is where we store it. Now these recycling bins I got at the container store and they work perfect for a deep freezer. I bought them purposely for that. Uh, we got rid of our chest freezer. We gave it to my brother-in-law and sister-in-law. They fit two to a shelf right here. What I've got going on in here is cheeses and a whole ham. We have some freezer meals in here, veggies, chicken. Each bucket has roasts, steaks. I have tomatoes from the garden. Somebody else's garden it was a farmer's market and I froze those. And this is what I use to do homemade tomato soup. It's so easy. I'll share it with you, don't worry. Um, I haven't, I filmed it, but I haven't shared it with you. Um, I have tater tots, veggies, uh, some frozen pizzas in here. I have bacon. This is gravy for biscuits and gravy, sausage gravy. Oh my gosh, this is gold right here. We have fish fillets as well, hamburger patties, sausage for our gravy, orange juice, and ground beef. Also, there's some pie shells and butter. I have lots of butter, guys. You'll see once this is all said and done. I need to utilize this a little bit better so that way when our cow comes in each year, I'm not scrambling to get it in and make room. I really wanna keep the kids out of this freezer. I just wanna make it so there's no need for them to come in this one. So I'm gonna track everything in my freezers in my She's In Her Apron planner. If you'd like to learn more about this planner, I'll have it linked below to our website. You can get it in a yearly or every four months. So in the beginning of each planner, you have a master freezer inventory. And you could put the item that's in your freezer and figure out any way to mark it off uh, for available and unavailable. I like to do a slash mark for available and then when I use it, I put a slash mark the opposite way so I know it's out. In our 2021 planners, this was a double page. I think it's gonna come back in for sure, but I could use the white line page on the opposite side to track, not a problem. But each month you get a shop your shelves section. So if you wanted to use anything specific in your freezer, refrigerator, or pantry, um, and if you have freezer mails, you can mark the ones that you want to use this month and put them here if you'd like. Now, and then over here, we have a mail planning area and you could just look off the list here or your master freezer list to plan your menus for like breakfast, lunch, dinner, side dishes, and then you have your shopping list. And that, this whole spread is in every month. All right, I'm gonna work with the big freezer first. I have a big laundry basket down here if I need to put anything in it to transfer to the other freezers. I might need to go get a sweater on because this is gonna be cold. Freezer meal, this will go in the pantry freezer. Lots and lots of vegetables. Freezer meal. Might have to get gloves too, because this is, my fingers are already very cold. Love freezing whole chickens. Awesome, I have two more in the freezer in the garage that I need to transfer down here. I just didn't have room. Okay, these are all steaks from our cow. Now this paper, that it's wrapped in is made for the freezer. So I don't need to rewrap this or use my vacuum sealer. I mean, I could, but that's just wasting time. These guys have done so well in this paper and over a year too. So there's like a sheet, like a plastic in it, a freezable plastic, and then this. And so it does very well. All right, these are the steaks that need to be used up first. Lots of spinach, broccoli, cheese, freeze your cheese. Chuck roast, sirloin roast, pot roast. What's your favorite cut of roast? Ours, I love a chuck roast. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I might need gloves. Woo! Burr, it's cold in here. This whole bucket here are the frozen tomatoes. So um, I need to use them because we are planting a garden this year and last year we didn't. So um, looks like we'll be making ketchup, tomato sauce, tomato soup with these in the next couple of weeks. So I need to get through these. I really don't want to keep them in this freezer 
I really want to use this for all protein. These are roasts that need to be eaten first and steaks that need to be eaten first. So top, top priority. That's how I'm going to look at it. Oh my gosh, my fingers are seriously going to fall off. I might need to go get those gloves. Okay, I'm definitely going to get online at the container store. So I want to order one more of those. I could always put a box in here. I've, I've done it before. You know what box would work great is that Costco milk box. I don't have one. This bottom drawer is all ground beef. All ground beef. I think I started off with like 77 pounds and I probably already used, I don't know. I maybe have 50, I don't know. I gotta count this, but we do go through the ground beef really quick. All right, these are all steaks. All right, we gotta use up some of these steaks a little bit quicker. So, um, well, it looks like we're having steak tomorrow for dinner. Actually, actually, I got an idea. Since these steaks up here need to get used first, I'm gonna take them out of this bucket and put them right here so I could see them. All right, and then put these steaks in here. Use these first. Woo, doggy! <sighs> okay, guys, I seriously gotta go get, oh, I can't even talk, I'm cold. I gotta go get gloves on because they are so red. Okay, I gotta work fast with all this frozen stuff. Okay, I need gloves, I'm cold. All right, I got gloves, found some, and I went up into the freezer and grabbed my two chickens, um, and I had a bag of broccoli that didn't fit at the time. Back to the grind. <laughs> I might need a sweater, but this is definitely making me warmer. Now I've got chicken I need to put in here. Lots of bacon. I think I'm gonna go find a bin to put all the bacon in because I've got more in the other fridge. So I think I'm gonna need to go find a plastic bin. I'm gonna shop my house because I know I have them. Okay, I got my apron full of pork. This is from the pig my brother-in-law raised, um, a pig for each family. And so this is the last of the pork and I'm gonna get it in this freezer as well. So I, I grabbed two clear buckets right here so now I'm gonna, ah, I gotta get my gloves back on. I think I'll put the pork in here. Um, I really wanna use one for, I might switch this out and go grab another, I, there's more, we have like a whole pile of these. Uh, I'm gonna go grab another one to put the bacon in now that I think about it, so. All right, so the pork, let's see, pork side, and that's like uncured bacon. Ugh. So Derek's gonna have to work his magic on that. So pork chops. went and collected all the bacon from the other freezers and refrigerator. I have fresh bacon that I just bought uh, at a good deal. All right, I really do need to food savor these whole chickens, but I'm just gonna make a spot for them in the freezer right now and I can come back and do that. Oh, now this is where it's not fun because I've got chicken I need a spot for and fish. I gotta use up these tomatoes. I got this big ham that I got during the holidays when it was on sale. Okay, so the price of butter has been skyrocketing and we noticed that um, it was starting to go up. So we grabbed some while it was still a good deal at Costco. Thank goodness, because now it's getting expensive. This needs to go in the freezer. I think I'm gonna utilize the door for all the butter. We go through a lot of butter. So top shelf is salted. Out of the pantry freezer, I grabbed some hot Italian sausage and then my apron is full of chicken. I have chicken thighs and chicken drumsticks that I just bought like a, what, a week ago and I food savored them so they're gonna go in here somewhere. Oh, jeez. some of the chicken down on the door. This is good for right now, and I'm gonna hurry and work in the other freezers. <sighs> One down. 
three to go. Okay, I know some people like the expiration dates. The 2023s, we're finishing planning them. I think I'm gonna take the expiration date out. I don't use it, do you guys use it? So I just made more lines here to be able to use to inventory. Okay, I gotta work quick because I got that basket full of food. This one's frozen garlic. So if I need um, garlic, I could throw it in soup stews, just like that, grate it in things. I'm just gonna start putting things out on the counter. And anything I find that could go into another freezer, I'm just gonna go put it there. Now's the fun part where I try to figure out how to utilize these drawers. I'm just gonna play. This one is the abyss. This is gonna be tricky. All right, that is as good as it's gonna get. I've got lots of veggies that I wanna use up. We have fruits, cheeses, gogurts, cauliflower rice in here, garlic and my yeast, and then all the vegetables. So that way they get eaten, they're here when we're preparing meals. Okay, this freezer is for all those go-to things and not, I guess like junk food in a way, like ice cream or burgers, hot dogs. Cause I really wanna keep that freezer in the pantry for freezer meals. I've got like sausage. So if I can get this in the big freezer, that would be great. So we shall see. I froze big blocks of cheese, which I hate doing, but I didn't have time to shred it. So I did it like this, which means I have to get very strategic with meal planning when it comes to those. So up here we have burgers, and back here are salmon burgers. And then the rest of that panko chicken right here. We have some ice cream bars, two frozen pizzas, two chicken pot pies. In the back we have a big package of hot dogs. Um, these are those chicken um, patties that the kids love. I have the directions in here. The bag, the original bag wouldn't close. So then we have orange chicken and um, pizza bites. That is pumpkin bread. Uh, I've got a bag of opened spinach ravioli, fish sticks, tater tots. So this is more of where like the ice cream will go um, and the kids go to things. On the door I have pie crust, orange juice, a thing of butter, pepperoni, pesto, and some block cheese. The kids can come in here and grab their go-to just quick food and not have to go into the big freezer, the freezer mail freezer, and the deep drawer in the refrigerator freezer. Okay, I had this thaw out, it dried out, no more ice, and then we have all like the pre-made things in here, and as you can see, I need some freezer meals. I like having something ready to go. So here is the pantry freezer. If you'd like more information on my planner, it is linked down below. If you'd like to also see how I took inventory of my big food storage room, my three month rotating pantry, just click on the thumbnail here and it'll take you right to it. All right, friends, thank you so much for joining me and we'll see you soon, bye. Burr, it's cold in here.